If you're ready to connect to your true self, amplify your unique creative voice and gain unshakable confidence to step into the life that you came here to live, you're in the right place. Welcome. There are different ways to purchase art. And a lot of people purchase art to fill a space in their home because they have a vision of what they want it to look like. But there's a different way to purchase art and that's to purchase a piece that speaks to your soul. And that's what I really believe we should fill our house with, with things that are so deeply meaningful to us and that make us feel, that really, really speak to us on a deep level. So I want to tell you a story about the very first time that I found a piece of art that spoke to my soul. And this is something that I purchased, not something that I saw, but uh, I was looking for a gift for my mother. I was working at the time in Holland, and I think I was in the town of Gouda or Gouda, uh, where the cheese comes from. <laughs> Funny the details you remember many years later. But I remember walking around town looking for something for her because I was going to go back to visit her around the time of her birthday. And I couldn't find anything because I guess my mum has different taste to me. But as I walked around this town, I walked past a, a shop that had um, homewares and, and, and kitchen supplies and things like that. But right at the end of the shop, it was a really skinny, long shop. Right at the end on a high shelf, there was a vase. And it was this round vase that was black and white out of glass. And it just stopped me in my tracks. I didn't intend to go into the shop at all, but I stopped as I was walking past the window because I saw this piece of art and I just felt like it was drawing me in. So I went into the shop and I had to get someone to help me because it was on a really high shelf. And I remember looking at the price and going like, I would spend that on a gift, but it's definitely not for my mum. It was very monochrome and minimal and that's very much my style, but it's very not my mum's style. So it was, I had to make that decision to go, well, I found something for me and I had to make peace with that and acknowledge that I would have to find something else for my mother at a different stage. But I, to this day, I have this vase, well, it's not actually in my home as such, but when, I left France where I grew up. I packed a box for my parents um, to pop with all of my other things that, you know when you go overseas and you just pack up all your stuff and you kind of leave it there for your parents to deal with someday? I did that. Um, I think over the years my, par my parents and my brothers went through all of my stuff and stole like my cutlery and some of my furniture and stuff like that. But this one box had written on every single side of it Shah's favorite things on every single side so that if I ever moved, my parents had the instruction that if I ever moved to a country and I decided that I wasn't going to come back home, then I wanted them to send me this box. And there were only three or four items in this box, but that vase was one of them. And it wasn't significant because somebody gave it to me or it was a family heirloom. It was significant to me because it made me feel so much. So when I went through all of my possessions and I had to choose the smallest amount of things that I would take with me, that I would want to take with me and keep with me for the rest of my life, this vase had the same status as my grandmother's cookie jar. Like that's how meaningful it was to me. And I believe that we should fill up our spaces with pieces that mean that much to us, not with things that are just pretty for the sake of pretty. I think we need to stop buying mass produced art that doesn't have a soul, that is not just made one of the mill, that doesn't really mean anything to us and that does not have a, a feeling or an emotion attached to it, at least for us. I don't know of anyone who's ever walked through Ikea or Kmart and seen a picture and felt that way or had their breath taken away. It just doesn't happen with mass produced stuff that wasn't created by someone with a deep intention with, and with love. So I think that we need to be more intentional about all of the things that enter our home, specifically the art items, because 
The nature of art is that it is creation, that it, it comes from a place of inspiration and love and this creative energy that we have access to, that artists give us access to, it matters. It's the stuff that makes life so much more beautiful and enjoyable and fulfilling. So I hope you'll think about that the next time you go out to buy something to decorate your home. Um, and it also makes gifting art very difficult unless the person has actually specifically told you what they want because we fall in love with a piece for a reason that we can't fully explain, but nobody can fully explain, but we feel it, right?